Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the command line tool FFmpeg. FFmpeg is a tool that will enable you to convert videos from one format to another. You can use it to compress video and you can use it to concatenate videos together. It's a very powerful command line tool. And as you know, on Everyday Linux User, I don't always delve into the terminal because the Everyday Linux User probably doesn't want to use the terminal. But when you've got a tool as powerful as FFmpeg, it's worth showing you how it works. So I'm using Linux Mint. If you want to install FFmpeg, you can just go here and search for FFmpeg. Now the truth is it's probably already installed on your system, but if you search for FFmpeg in the software manager, you'll see that this is here and you can go into it and it is indeed installed. I'm not gonna show you for every other distribution, but it should be available in your package managers. So the next thing we need is a terminal window and I'm in my videos folder and if I do an ls minus al you'll see I've got quite a lot of videos. So we'll start off we'll look at uh, one of these videos just to show you it in action and you can see it's the game Pingu's which is a lot like lemons and I'm showing how to get work through the levels. So what we're going to do is going to convert that from an MKV format into an MP4 format. And the easiest way of doing that is as follows. So here I am in the terminal and I'm in my videos folder. And if I type ls minus al, you can see I've got a list of videos. And I'm going to convert one of these videos into MP4 from MKV. And I can do that by typing ffmpeg minus i, paste in the file name. And then all I have to do is give the name of the file I want to output it to. So I'm going to call it bingos onemp 4 And you can see that's now converting the video into an MP4 format. Now it can take some time and these are the default options. So uh, you just have to be patient and wait for it to finish. And that is it done. So we should be able to go into our folder again. And you can see there's Pingu's MP4. So if we double click on that. You can see it works perfectly well. Okay, so I'm back in my videos folder. And if I do ls minus al again, uh, what I'm gonna do now is, when I converted using FFmpeg, I was using the default options. But when you're converting out to MP4, it's best to use a specific video codec and audio codec. And I'm going to show you that now. So essentially, if you type FFmpeg minus I and the file name of the video, I'm going to paste that in again. And then if you type minus C colon V, you can specify a video codec. So in this case, libx264. And you can use libx265 or one of the other codecs, but I'm going to use libx264 for this. So that's the H264 codec. So the audio codec, you do minus C colon A, and for MP4, you typically use something like AAC. And then all you have to do is give the video name that you want to convert the video to as you did before. So in this case, I'm going to call it pingo 2mp 4 Press return, and it's going to start converting again. And that's it done. So if I go back to my folder, you see I've got an MP4 Pingo's 2, 7.1 megabytes in size, and the Pingo's 1 is also 7.1. And if I play it, it's gonna work as it did before. And there's not much difference to it. It's perfectly fine. Now here I am back at the terminal. I'm gonna clear again, and we'll type ls minus al again. Now one of the things you might want to adjust is the video quality when you're doing the conversion. So in this case, there's a command that you can use with ffmpeg. So if we do ffmpeg, we do minus i again, and we're gonna paste in the file name as we did before. And what you can do is use minus crf, and you can give a number between 18 and 28. Now, the lower the number, the better the quality of the video. So if you go for 18, for instance, that's gonna give you the best quality uh, video when it comes out the other side. So we'll do that, we'll go minus CRF 18. Now typically uh, the number is 23, which is somewhere between the two. So when you run it by default, you get a halfway house. And I'm gonna do 18, which is the best quality. And 
as before we'll use the minus c colon v libx264 and we'll use the minus c colon a and we've got aac and we're going to call it pingos 3.mp4 and that's it done so we go back here and we look at pingos 3 and you can see the video file size is now 10 megabytes instead of 7 so it's going to be a slightly better quality you're not really going to see it when I run this it's so negligible it doesn't make much of a difference but that's how you can uh, use FFmpeg to get slightly better quality video as well as setting the quality like that you can also use something called preset which determines the speed at which the encoding takes place so I'll show you how to do that now so we'll do FFmpeg minus i and we'll paste in the video again and what we're going to do this time is like preset and by default the preset is medium but you can also use slow you can use fast you can use faster you can use super fast you can use ultra fast you can use very slow incredibly slow <laughs> actually that's a liar i don't remember all the options but there, there's the sort of things you can do so what i'm going to do is type faster and I'm just going to type in the name of the video this time. We'll go pinkus 4mp 4 And uh, this should create the video quicker than it did before. But there's obviously a trade-off. If you do it fast, then you're going to get a slightly less quality video. If you do it very slow, you're going to get a, a much better quality video because the encoding is going to take its time over it. But at the same time, it's going to take a lot longer to convert your video. And that's it done. So as you can see, the Pingos 4 is actually now smaller than the originals, and that's because we did it at a um, faster encoding rate. But again, it's not going to be very noticeable to the naked eye on a video like this. So one thing you might want to do is compress your video. So I'm in my downloads folder now and I've downloaded one of my videos from my Google Photos and it's this one here and it's 104 megabytes in size. And if I show you it, what I'm going to do is skip on a bit to the moment. And you can see it's a And you can see it's a video of when we went to the circus and it's a motorcyclist in a um, wire ball. Uh, actually in the video um, there's actually ends up being three motorcyclists in that ball going around with flashing lights. It's absolutely amazing. Great circus that was. But anyway, so that's the video we're going to compress. So the first thing we do is right click, properties, and we're going to get that name by copying it like that. We're then going to go into our folder here, and we're going to cd into downloads, clear, and we're going to type ffmpeg minus i, and we're going to right click and paste, and we're going to do minus c colon v lib x264, we're going to do minus c colon a aac, and what we're going to do is minus b colon a192 and you have to put the K on the end and then we're going to give it another name so we're going to call it um, circus1 mp4 now I've left the defaults so or the quality the same the encoding speed the same but I've changed the bitrate to 192k and we'll see what that turns out like and you can see that's going to start converting now. So that's the encoding finished. And if we go here now, we look at Circus. You can see it's only 45 megabytes in size. You can compress it further. You can go to 128K. You can change the encoding speed and you can change the quality. And all of those things mixed together, if you tweak them, you can make that file a lot smaller. But at the moment, it's just under half the size it was originally. But if I run it, <coughs> you will see that hasn't changed quality at all. And you see the quality didn't really get affected that much. Um, obviously stopping the video quite early because it's playing um, a copyrighted track there so I need to be careful on that. 
So the next thing we're going to look at is concatenating multiple videos together. Now as we go back to our videos folder you can see we've got all these Pingu's ones down here so let's try and concatenate a few of them. So the first thing we need to do is create a, a new file called file list.txt so we can use a text pad for that and all we need to do is type the word file and then the name of the files and how many have we got there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9 files so we do that 9 times so we can just copy that like that and then one more and then we just need the file names in there so we're going to copy, paste so I've got a list of files, let's try and put them in the right order. And then we're going to save that file. And we're going to put it in our videos folder and we're just going to call it file list. Like that. Then we go back to here and we're going to CD back into our videos folder clear the screen. So here we are back in the terminal, I'm in the videos folder and we're going to type ffmpeg minus f concat and we're going to do minus safe zero and what that's saying is in that file list it doesn't matter whether you use relative or absolute paths it's going to work and then we're going to type minus i and we're going to type file list which is a list of files and then we're going to use the minus C colon V to do the libx264 for the video codec and minus C colon A AAC for the audio codec and then we're going to just call it pingu's final movie.mp4 and we're going to press return and you see that's now going to concatenate all those videos into one long video now I'm not going to make you watch that I'm going to show you the end product now I didn't actually wait for it to finish doing all of it because that video is about uh, would, would have ended up being about an hour long and it would have taken so long to record the video but you can see I've got this final movie here now it's 55 megabytes in size and it's a concatenation of a few of the videos. So you can see that would have been um, about an hour long movie, a walk, complete walkthrough of Pingu's. Um, so uh, not something I'm going to release by the way, it's just uh, I recorded that purely for this FFmpeg thing and uh, because I quite like playing Pingu's. One well, of the other things you can do with FFmpeg is extract the audio from a video. So if I clear the screen and do ls minus al, we'll take Pingu's as an example. Um, we'll take pingu's 2.mp4 and what we'll do is ffmpeg and we'll do minus i and we'll do pingu's 2.mp4 we'll do minus vn and we'll do minus a codec and you then choose the format you want the audio to be in so in this case mp3 and then you just give it an output file And you see that didn't take any time at all. If I now go to my videos folder, I've got a pingu's.mp3. Not very interesting, but um, you can see that might be useful if you've got your own videos that you want to take the music out of. The final thing I'm going to show you in this video, and by no means is this all that FFmpeg can do, it can do all sorts of stuff, you can replace the audio in a video, you can do lots of other things, but the final thing I'm going to show you is how to take a screenshot of a section of the video. So I've got this video here, and this is from a place in Scotland called Abalawa. Okay, so if I play that again, say I wanted a screenshot of that section there. So that's second four in the video. 
So what we do is we clear here and I need to go to my downloads folder for this. This is where my file is and we are going to do ffmpeg and we're going to do minus i. We need the name of the video which is pxl We do minus ss and we have to say where in the video it is. So zero hours, zero minutes, zero four, which is how many seconds. And then we do minus v frames, this is how many frames you want, and we're going to say one. And we're going to give it the file name we want to put it to. So what we're going to say here is apple hour dot png. And you can see that's done that. So if we close this down and we go back to our downloads folder, you can see we've got abalower.png and it's a screenshot of the video. And that is the end of the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, share it, do whatever you like with it. Uh, but please come back for more videos from Everyday Linux User. Thank you for watching.